at SIGGRAPH tonight, just hours ago, AMD announced its new Radeon Pro SSG solution, which is a solid state graphics solution, they're calling it. And this hosts memory starting at one terabyte in capacity. It's not the typical on-card VRAM, though. It's a little bit different. SSG, as we understand it right now, is effectively an extra pool. It's an ex extended frame buffer where the uh, card, when it taps out of its onboard memory, it can tap into via PCIe bus this SSG memory, which basically allows AMD to bypass the process of talking to the CPU to request information from system RAM, and if it's not there, you go to uh, the storage device, hard drive, solid state drive, or other. So instead of going through that path, AMD is able to take all this extra data and data, large data sets it might need for production applications, put it onto an SSG, they're calling it, and pull from the PCIe bus, which is much faster and physically closer than system RAM. That matters too. So this is not a gaming device. This is a production device. It's for workstations. And as such, the uh, price starts at a $10,000 fee for the development kit. And that kit will begin availability in 2017. You can buy it now. I don't know that anyone in our audience does that sort of thing, but it's certainly worth talking about because it's interesting technology. Other than sort of the, the basic specs that we have right now, we do know from a presentation that AMD held tonight at SIGGRAPH that the live scrubbing time of a video improved from 17 FPS to about 90 plus FPS. So that's somewhere around a 5X increase in performance, just under 5X. And that, uh, for anyone who does video production or other workload tasks, is pretty significant because you're moving from 17 frames per second, which is below what the user will see even if you're outputting a 24 FPS movie, which isn't that common anymore. You're moving from 17 FPS to something that's pretty similar or exceeds what the user will be seeing. So that's certainly useful for quickly editing, applying effects, uh, manipulating the models, things like that. Radeon SSG is also being targeted for VR content creation. And uh, they said oil and gas exploration. That's certainly not an industry we pay attention to. CFD or computational fluid dynamics and other computer en or uh, computational engineering applications. And then there's some scientific applications in the world of medicine and medical research, which we also don't follow. So uh, that's how it basically works from what we know right now. I don't have a lot of other hard specs. We have the price again, 10 grand, available 2017. In the meantime, and that's for the dev kit, by the way. In the meantime, AMD also announced its new Radeon Pro WX series. So these would be the effective competitors to Quadro, if you're not familiar with the WX line, uh, but you know the Quadro line, they compete in the same market space. The three new cards announced today include the WX7100, the WX5100, and the WX4100 GPUs. All three are on Polaris architecture. I'm not sure right now if that's Polaris 10 or if there's a new version of the GPU, but they are on Polaris. We know that much. So it is the 14 nanometer FinFET process node that we saw with the RX 480. And these cards are built to drive the new GPU open standard or the expanding GPU open standard, I should say, which includes some of and these new-ish technologies like fire rays and things like that for real-time ray tracing and getting more out of the light tracing and renders. The WX7100, the high-end card, is targeted at media production and VR content creation. The WX5100 is sort of mid-range, as the name might suggest, and that goes for product development. And uh, in, in this world, product development means things like designing your car. Uh, BMW, I believe, uses game engines now, at least some of the companies use game engines now. I think BMW is one of them to do their automotive rendering, and you would use a card like a WX or a Quadro card to do that with some level of, uh, of speed. And then the WX4100 is an HHHL format, or half height, half length. So that's built for small form factor PCs. So you can put your HHHL video card in your SFF box. If you like acronyms, that's the way to do it. And that card is targeted at supporting pro CAD applications or computer-aided design or drafting, and uh, is targeted, again, at small workstations. So that's those three WX cards. I don't have full numbers or specs on any of these. I don't know the uh, architecture beyond its Polaris. And that's all we have for today. For those who are out of loop on the workstation world, 
I would, uh, the one site I, I do know that covers it with a more consumer slant, which certainly our site is, would be Rob Williams' site, Tech Gauge. He has some decent reviews of Quadro cards and Fire Pro and things like that. You can go check his reviews out. We don't look into that stuff. But that is the technology. That's the interesting stuff. The SSS, the SSG, rather, solution, the Radeon Pro one terabyte memory array, or whatever you want to call it, is pretty interesting. I'll be looking into that more. I've asked AMD a few questions about it. Hopefully, we can learn at it, about it just from a technology standpoint and see how it works if we can ever expect something maybe lower end to come to the consumer. But for now, it's all workstation. So as always, Patreon link the post the video if you want to help us out directly. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content. I'll see you all next time.